What's up guys, Seattle Gamer here, We're back with our Saturday morning bonus video. Now I had a few guys ask what my way that I record and edit all of my video and audio is, so I thought I would put together a really quick kind of demonstration of what I do for a normal video. We'll do Run with the Mad God because it's small that fits on my screen here. Now I also have had requests to do a guide for people who are just starting out that maybe don't have all of the software that I have. So I'll probably put one together for how to use free software to kind of get your recording up, get it started, and then maybe later if you want, you can buy programs like DX Story or, or Sony uh, Movie Studios Platinum 13 or something. But for now, I'm gonna show you what I do. If you're interested in the other one, let me know. So anyways, first off, I use DX Story. DX Story is a really, really great screen capture program. It just makes really good quality video. I use the Lagrith lossless codec, which means that the file sizes are huge, but the video looks really nice. Um, and then also a good thing, as you can see here, is I can have multiple audio. So on my first track here, I have set to what you guys hear from the game. And then the second set I have is set to my microphone here. And I'll show you why that's important here in a little bit. So anyway, so I have the game pulled up and I have DX Story and then I start my recording and I'll wait without talking for like 10 seconds just to get a nice noise profile. I'll show you why that's important here in a bit. And then I will start my recording. Now, since I can't record with DX Story and Marilla's Action, which is what I'm using to capture this screen right now, I have done just a test recording. So let's just assume that I recorded my Realm of the Mad God. Now I'm done, I exited out of that. We're gonna go here to DX Story where I recorded it. Now here is my file that I supposedly just recorded. So I'm just gonna rename it as test. The first thing I do is right click, extract audio stream. You'll notice it gives me two streams, stream zero, stream one. If we listen to stream zero, there's nothing because that's the game audio and there wasn't anything going on. If we listen to stream one, we it's the audio from my microphone. Now I usually just delete this one uh, and because it's irrelevant. And then what I'll do is I'll bring up, where am I looking, Geek Story, there we go. I'll bring up Audacity. Now Aud Audacity is a free, audio recording and editing program. I will link it down below. Everyone should have it. Even if you have better programs, it's nice to have something else in case your other program fails. So I will link this down below. Now what you wanna do is here's that like five seconds or so, that's only two and a half because I was testing, of nothing. And what this does is allows us to do a noise removal profile. And what this will do is if you have a fan running on your computer and maybe you can hear it, look at this bar up here at the top. You see all that green right there? That's bad background noise. Now watch this. Let's see. I don't want that. I want that. There you go. Now watch this. Sorry about that. I removed it. See, there's nothing there now. Now what I've done is I set up a chain. And what chains will do is they'll allow you to do several steps at with one click. So my chain, if you go to it, actually I'll show you it really quick, edit chains, it's the noise removal, then I compress with a ratio of four to one and a fast attack time and decay, and then I normalize. And that is all I do. I've been wanting to do more, do some equalization or something with it, but we'll, we'll apply this and you'll see it'll do stuff and it'll make it nice. And then what you do is you file and then you export it. And I'm just gonna export it right into where it was to override the other file. And then I'm done with my audio. So it'll take a little bit longer with longer videos cause it'll take a while to render and everything. So now we have Sony Movie Studios Platinum 13, which is what I usually use to edit my video. I will bring in, where are we at? My audio, my video, and my intro. Where's Realm? Intro, and also my background. 
Come out, come out wherever you are. You're here somewhere. I know you are. There it is. Yep, that's what it looks like. Thank you. All right. So these are what this is what I need here. You start a new file, go up here to properties. I do mine, my, well, at least my Realm of Mad Gods, in 720p, which is 1280 by 720 and 60 frames per second. Hit apply. And then I'll drop in my intro here. And I have to trim it because I always forget. There we go. Trim the end there. All right, so here's my intro. Now what I'll do is I'll drop in the video there. I will create a new audio track. This is where my Audacity audio will go. So I'll drop that in as well. Now the good thing about recording with multiple tracks with Audacity is everything's lined up for you. If you see, if I were to play this, those would line up perfectly. So I don't have to sync anything up. I don't have to sync anything up, which is great. Now I'll take my video, I'll copy it up, and I'll put the background behind it. Now you can see here, the background is now behind it. This is messed up. I need to figure out what's wrong with it. But anyways, now what you what I'll do is I'll delete that little bit at the beginning. Trim start. That's what I use for my noise profile. And let's say here's where my outro is. I'll go a little bit further and I'll trim the end. And then very important, you wanna right click your video, go to properties, disable resample. We'll do it for this one too. Properties, disable resample. What resample does is Sony Movie Studio, Sony Platinum, uh, sorry, Sony Vegas, all of them, what they'll do is they'll try and smooth your frames together to make them look better when you're playing it, which sounds great, but in reality, what it does is it blurs your video. And so we don't want that, we don't want that. And so now what we'll do is we will mute the original audio that I edited out and I'll take the game audio and I'll usually decrease it by about 10 decibels. We Yep, and that is all I do. Then you go up here to make movie, save to my hard drive, advanced options. I use Sony AVC MVC. I made my own template that's 1080p, 60 frames per second, and uses GPU accelerated rendering. So what GPU accelerated rendering is, is normally you'll render only with your CPU and it'll take forever. But when you have one of the higher grade software packages like this one or Adobe, they will they will render using your CPU and your GPU. So before what would take me two hours to render now takes me like 30 minutes, which is still a lot, but not as much, it's nice. And then you go over here and you select where you want it and your title, and then you hit render and it renders and then you upload it. And that's pretty much my process. I'll go through, depending on the video, I'll add stuff in, I'll delete out stuff every once in a while. But for the most part, I leave it pretty much intact. Uh, you'll notice that a few times I will cut and stuff. And basically what you do is you go to here, right? And you'll say, I want to split it right here. You'll go to split and then you can grab all of this stuff, move it over, add stuff in, or you can take out a bit, split this, right? And delete all of this out and, and make your jump cuts. But that is what I do. So I use DX Story, I use Audacity, and I use Sony Movie, Movie Studios Platinum 13. That is a mouthful. But anyways, that is how I make my videos. If you guys have any specific questions or you want me to go over anything that I do, I'm planning on doing a series with Audacity, spoiler alert, going through all the good things to make your audio sound better, what all the tools do, how to mic yourself because there's different techniques for miking, where you place your microphone, room noise, all of that kind of stuff. And then if you want, I can also do a video like I did with Morales Action with DX Story showing you how to use everything. And that's pretty much it. I hope this helped you guys out. I hope you found it interesting. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next episode.